Hello and welcome back. My name is Andreas Chat, your tech curious web designer. In this video, we will add static images to our website, such as the logo, and we will upload images which will be stored in the database. Let's dive in. So first, let's create a static folder. In this static folder, we will store uh, our images, but also CSS files, as well as JavaScript files. So here in our source, let's create a new folder and we call it static. Now we have to let Django know that this static folder exists. So let's go to our settings file. And here we have to add a line. At the very bottom of this file, you will find static underscore URL. This defines the URL of the static image. We can rename the word static to something else if we like. So just below this line here, we add this variable. So static files underscore dirs for directories. And we connect here the base directory with our just created static folder. Okay, save this file. Now Django knows about this folder. So in this folder, let's create some subfolders. We will store images here. CSS files and JavaScript. Now let's add some static images to our images folder. I prepared some on my GitHub. So github.com slash ndjot slash awesome dash images. You can find the images for the avatar, the fireheart icon, which we will need later on for the like button, and also icons for our categories. So if you click here on code and then download zip, this whole folder will be downloaded now. And once the download is done, let's move all the images to our images folder. So all the images are now in this image folder. Let's now add the logo to our website. We head over to the header.html. So in templates, includes, header. And here we have the logo. At the moment it's just a link to an external website. So let's add now our own logo here. So we write curly brackets, percentage sign, static. This is the template tag we need to load static images to a template and it knows in which folder the images are stored. Then we add the file path. So in quotes we go to the images folder slash and then the name of the file. In our case is the fireheart underscore white dot svg. Now we have to load the static tag to the site as Django by default doesn't want to handle displaying images and image processing out of the box. This is something we have to handle. That's why we need to include a few lines of code ourselves. So at the top of the page, we have to add this load static code. This line is always required in a template where we display static images. So save this file now. Let's have a look at the website. Refresh the page. There we go. We swap now the logo image with our local stored file. I'm adjusting now the size a little bit. So I'm changing the width to 6. These are Tailwind CSS classes we're using here. I'm also adding a bit of margin to the right side. So MR1. Save. Okay, there we go. Now let's also add the icons here for the top post and top comments. Let's go to our sidebar file. Here we have the icon. Let's swap this one. Here 
Here I'm using the Fireheart Black. Again, we have to add the static code at the top of the page. And there we go. Let's copy this code here. And we also add it at the top comment section here. There we go. Save. Let's have a look. Nice. Now we are serving those icons locally. Let's see now how we can add media files to our project. Media files are files users upload by using an upload form and they are then stored in the database. For those files we need a different folder, a media folder. Let's create this one now. Again we are going to our source, add a new folder and call it media. Let's add it to our settings file. So underneath the static file configuration we add the media URL. We can change that to any name we like. And then we have to add also the media root. This is where Django can find the user uploaded images. You might have noticed that the static files directories are written in square brackets which makes it an array. That's because it can contain multiple folder locations where our static files are stored and we're telling Django where to look for them. Also when the site goes into production we need to use the command collect static to collect all the static files of our project and put them in one single folder. The media root on the other hand is just one specific folder and typically on a live site this folder is even located on a different server to optimize the serving of the images. Alright, we are not just done yet, we also have to add something to our URL patterns. So let's go to the urls.py and we add this line here. This line is necessary so our user upload images are visible on the website. The static function basically builds a path from the media URL and the media root and with the plus equal sign we append it to our URL patterns. But we write it disconnected from the other path because we will disable this line when the site goes live. In development Django can handle this, however in production we need to choose a server specialized in serving image files to the website. A popular and free one is Nginx for example. We will take a closer look at this when we deploy this web app to the server. So let's import a couple of packages here. So we need to import the settings, so up here we say so from django.conf, so configuration, import settings and we also have to add the static function. From django, conf url static, import static. Save the file. Alright then, uh, we also have to save the settings file, I forgot this one. Okay, save. And now let's upload some images to our category tags. So we add a image property to the tag class. So let's go to the models.py file and we add here an image property. There we go. So this image property is using a file field because we are uploading SVG files which are vector files in contrast to image files. With a file field you can upload any kind of files to a database. With an image field, on the other hand, you can only deal with image files such as JPEGs, PNGs and GIFs. But it has some additional features such as validation, resizing or cropping. We will see this in the next video when we upload the avatar image. And here we are saying upload it to this folder, so the icons folder. We don't have to create this folder, it will create it automatically. We also say here again null is true. And we also add here blank is true which deals with form validation and it allows a form field to be submitted as an empty value. Ok, let's save this one. Let's migrate to the server now. Ctrl C, python manage.py make migrations. Python manage.py migrate. 
and python manage.py run server. So let's add icons now to our tags in the database. Let's copy this one, slash admin, we go to tags, landscape, and as you can see this upload button appeared, so we choose now the file we would like to upload. So I have here the icon for landscape, save, animals, save, people, urban, and black and white. Now let's add those icons to our sidebar. So we go to the sidebar.html. And here in our category loop, we swap this static image here with our variable category dot image. So this would include just the name of the image. We would like to have the whole path here. So we have to add dot URL. So let's check it out. We refresh the home page. There we go. Now all the categories have their own unique icons. Great. This was a short one, but nonetheless very important one. In the next video we will look into the login and sign up process. I will see you there.